Experience, both operational and training, has proven that a head-up display is an essential system in the inventory of a modern air force and applies to frontline multi-role fighters, ground attack fighters, and advanced trainers alike. A head-up display allows the pilot to view the real world through a semi-reflective combiner glass on which full-flight symbology and weapon aiming symbology focused at infinity are superimposed. Marconi Avionics is the world's most experienced manufacturer of head-up displays, having produced over 5,000 for major aircraft programs and retrofit. The environment in which today's fighter pilot operates is hostile and unforgiving. The head-up display is an aid in every aspect of flight. At low level, with all flight and navigation symbology in the head-up display, the pilot's workload is reduced, allowing more time to fly as low as possible, look out for threats, and operate his systems effectively. He can fly in weather which would force other aircraft up into cloud or enemy surface-to-air missile belts. If he does abort, all flight parameters are in front of him, ensuring a safer transition to instrument flight. The critical moment in any mission is the release of weapons, and a head-up display will provide accurate delivery. In air-to-ground, bombs, guns, and rockets can be delivered from any type of attack. The days of striving to achieve CAN parameters are over. Operational attacks are now possible at speeds up to aircraft maximum and at heights only constrained by the weapon itself. In air-to-air, -air, missile envelopes can be drawn on the head-up display. And with full symbology, air-to-air -air gun aiming becomes less of a black art. Profiles are easily adapted to the fast-moving fights of today. Marconi Avionics pioneered the head-up display and have continued in the forefront for over 20 years. Original work with the Royal Aircraft Establishment at Farnborough led to the world's first production head-up display for the Buccaneer in 1960 and is still operational. In 1963, the TSR-2 was an ambitious program providing navigation, terrain following, approach and landing guidance, and weapon delivery symbology. In 1967, the contract was won to produce systems for the Vought A7 Corsair aircraft. This was the world's first digital head-up display. The equipment is still in production and has been developed to portray a raster picture of the aircraft forward-looking infrared sensor for night operations. The head-up display for the A-4 Skyhawk was another first. The system carried out air-to-air -air and air-to-ground weapon aiming computations for the first time, in addition to the generation and display of symbols. First produced in 1970, A-4 head-up displays are still in production. The YF-16 program in 1973 used proven A-7 and A-4 technology. Because of the aircraft's one-piece canopy, the combiner glass, in addition to providing the best possible view of the outside world, had to withstand the very high aerodynamic loads during a canopy off situation and also afford some protection against bird strike. In 1975, Marconi Avionics were awarded the latest technology F-16 program. 
this head-up display has completely proven itself. Liked by pilots for its accuracy, dependability and ease of operation, and by ground crew for its high reliability and ease of maintenance, the successful F-16 program continues, and this head-up display is the basis for retrofit programs such as Mirage and Draken. During takeoff roll and liftoff, the pilot has full flight symbology at eye level and is able to monitor the vital speed, height and attitude information at the same time as aircraft direction. This gives him confidence and greatly reduces his workload. During flight, the head-up display continues to provide accurate flight information and also gives the pilot navigation to waypoints and target. Workload is reduced and he is therefore more receptive to outside influences and less vulnerable to fighter threats and low-level hazards. He's also able to fly lower out of sight of enemy radar. Approaching the target, the head-up display provides the pilot with the flexibility he requires. Full symbology allows the attack to be set up more efficiently and the weapons delivered accurately. During an attack, the constraints of speed and dive angle are eliminated as the head-up display continuously computes the impact point. Recognizing the effect of adrenaline on a pilot's aim, Marconi avionics provide every possible cue to help him. In the following attack, the A7 pilot uses the continuously computed release point mode. The symbology indicates aircraft velocity vector, pitch lines, azimuth steering commands, and an aiming graticule which represents computed target position. Once in range for a selected weapon, a solution cue appears, from which time the pilot may initiate his pull-up maneuver. Breaking through the clouds, the pilot can see that the aiming graticule is locked onto the target by the radar. All he need now do is to maneuver to keep the velocity vector symbol and aiming graticule on the azimuth steering line. As the range decreases, the solution cue moves toward intersection with the velocity vector symbol. At intersection, automatic weapon release occurs without the constraints of speed, pitch angle or G-loading. Computation is continuous and the flashing velocity vector indicates weapon release. This attack uses continuously computed impact point, CCIP. No target box is used and inertial or radar inputs are not required. All the pilot does is visually identify the target, fly the bomb fall line through it, and pickle to release the bombs when the CCIP impacts the target. The bomb fall line shows the line along which weapons will drop, and the CCIP marker shows where one bomb or the center of a stick will impact. This type of attack is very flexible and jinking maneuvers to counter radar can be used right up to weapon release. The offset mode is another method of bombing which demonstrates the total versatility of the head-up display system. Here, an inertial system or radar is required. The pilot flies towards his initial point and designates it, thus updating his position. The head-up display now provides steering commands to the target, entered into the computer before flight as an offset from the IP. This attack is designed for difficult targets and allows the pilot to bomb blind or update the system visually if the target is seen. Rockets and guns both use CCIP solutions with complete flexibility. This attack is with rockets on a power station. The target aiming graticule or CCIP marker is positioned just below the target and the pilot is pulling the nose up to lay the marker over it. When the target is in range, an in-range bar appears over the marker, and now the rockets will hit the point aimed at.
As minimum range approaches, the mandatory pull-up cross appears, improving pilot safety. The same principles apply to straight modes. The Marconi avionics head-up display system is renowned for its reliability, but operational damage in the wrong place could cause a failure. In this case, the age-old weapon delivery techniques are necessary using a standby sight. This operates from a different power supply and is injected into the optical path. It can also be superimposed over normal symbology during test flights. Leaving the unfriendly environment of low level behind him, the fighter pilot enters a new and possibly more hostile arena. In an air threat, he must kill quickly or be killed. Once again, Marconi avionics are the front runners in air-to-air -air gunnery solutions and have successfully integrated tracer line and lead angle computing symbology in the head-up display. Most of the tracer line or snapshoot symbology is standard. The cross at the top can be considered as the source of bullets. The line is the path followed by the bullets after firing and the horizontal ticks correspond to bullet time of flight. The size of the large circle is governed by the target aircraft range and the center of it, the aiming point, is positioned on the line at the bullet time of flight corresponding to the target range. The pilot identifies the position of the target circle on the line and therefore the target range as a time of flight and so he moves the aiming marker towards the target firing when he believes both sight and bullets will reach the target at the same time. It takes a little practice, but once learned, is deadly. The tracer line is a true historic line and faithfully reproduces the bullet path. It is the only air-to-air -air aiming system not requiring steady tracking, but allowing the pilot to aim confidently at a fast-crossing target. Even after aircraft maneuver, the tracer line reproduces the bullet path exactly. This type of display is an absolute must in the fast-moving, high-angle-off fights of today. Also included in the head-up display symbology suite is a lead computing or LCOS mode, which can be used where steady tracking conditions can be achieved. This is a prediction of where the bullets will go, provided there are no abrupt flight path changes. This is the snapshoot mode used against an F-4 aircraft. Steady tracking by the attacking aircraft is not viable, but snapshoot opportunities are numerous. The classic snapshoot occurs just after the reversal. Here, LCOS is used against a target which is being steadily tracked. In the air-to-air -air missile environment, the head-up display gives the pilot the best possible chance to achieve a kill. Missile bore sight, missile head seeker cone, range cues from a radar, missile envelope calculations of in-range and critical range, and overtake speeds can be displayed. The dogfight mode is entered by moving a single throttle switch which overrides all other modes. Snapshoot, LCOS, and missile bore sight are displayed, enabling the pilot to choose the optimum mode for the situation. As the aircraft maneuvers, the difference between LCOS and snapshoot aiming points are clearly seen. The high accuracy of all these modes depends on radar, but acceptable and accurate ranging can be achieved by using manual or stadiometric ranging. This entails matching the aircraft size as seen through the head-up display with a circle which is controlled by a throttle twist grip. The head-up display provides valuable information during approach and landing phases. The landing sub-mode is entered automatically when the landing gear extends. ILS glide path and localizer bars can be displayed together with angle of attack and vertical speed. In good weather, this information is used as backup. 
but in low cloud ceilings, the head-up display makes all the difference. The pilot uses the full flight symbology as he looks through the display for the runway, thus avoiding the disorientating head movements normally associated with instrument approaches near to decision height. The fighter pilot who can operate at night as effectively as by day increases his flexibility and survivability and the time available for his operations. The A-7 was the first operational aircraft to project a raster image of the forward-looking infrared sensor onto the head-up display. The imagery has the normal symbology superimposed. This original night vision raster head-up display is in full service with the United States Navy. The raster head-up display with FLIR imagery is not just an aid to low-level flying, but also helps in acquiring and attacking targets. The Hunter Research Aircraft at the Royal Aircraft Establishment pioneered the use of electro-optical sensors for night flying. Fitted with Marconi Avionics raster head-up display, it demonstrated the importance of a large field of view projected one-to-one -one with the real world. Based on this experience, Marconi Avionics won the contract to develop a wide-angle head-up display for the United States Air Force Lantern Night Vision System. This is intended for use in both F-16 and A-10 aircraft and gives an exceptionally large field of view for use in low flying and ground attack at night. This head-up display first flew in June 1982. Marconi Avionics have delivered far more head-up displays than all other manufacturers combined, in excess of 5,000 for over 30 different aircraft types. Each display is of the highest quality, ensuring reliability, maintainability, and accurate performance. Head-up displays from Marconi Avionics mean tactical low flying. Accuracy in air-to-ground, second to none. Accuracy in air-to-air -air for the quickest possible kill. With operational experience in many parts of the world, Marconi Avionics look forward to the future and are proud to be called the world's most experienced head-up display manufacturer.